Adding dropdowns to your Excel file can standardize the process for manual data entry and further professionalize your file. Let's talk about why you would use this tool and how to implement it with data validation. Why would you want to use a dropdown list? Dropdown lists are great for data validation and ensuring that all the data in your column is easy to summarize at the end of our exercise. So let's assume we are going through the exercise of mapping each of these employees to a specific office and a specific manager they report to. What we could do is we could fill in each of these manually and say Los Angeles, Chicago, and I'll just fill these down to save you the boredom. And let's look at our data. So let's use a pivot table to very easily look at our data. I'll put it underneath our worksheet and we can pretty quickly pull in our office into our rows and our employee name as a count into our values. Unfortunately, what happened was we had errors in our manual data entry process. We have an extra space in Chicago. We have an extra space in Boston, someone misspelled Chicago, misspelled Los Angeles. And while we could go through and clean this data, what we'd much prefer to do is standardize the process for manual data entry to avoid these errors in the first place. So I'll remove this pivot table and then I'll clear all of these. And the easiest way to do this is to add a list of values that are approved for our column. I will put in Boston, I will put in Chicago, and I will put in Los Angeles. So now if I go over to my office, I can select the column, I can go up to data, data validation, allow list, and then highlight the offices I want to allow in my column. If I hit OK, now I have this really nice drop down, which you can access with alt down arrow where you can easily select the office that each employee belongs to. And if I wanted to fill these in, I could put in Boston, I could put in Los Angeles. And the best part is if I added an extra space by accident, what Excel would do is it would tell me that this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions for the cell and force me to put in a value that matches our list. This is incredibly helpful for expediting your process of summarizing your data once it has been manually input. Let's go through the process one more time for a manager. So if we had another lookup table and let's say we have Mrs. Jones and we have Mr. Smith, we can go to our manager column, we can highlight it and and use a shortcut alt a v v will give us data validation i want to allow a list and our source will be mrs jones and mr smith if i hit ok i can now go to my column and easily select the correct manager for each employee drop downs are very very helpful for creating a professional file that ensures accurate data is being input <music>